Good evening, beautiful people. This is Soul Nirvana Tarot. Welcome to my channel. I am doing a special reading tonight for the month of March. A pick a card reading for your special person with love messages and a charm cast at the end. If you're new to this channel, I've been doing readings now, tarot readings for 35 years. I'm also an astrologer, numerologist, dowser. I'm a Reiki master and teacher. And not only am I here to read for you, I also love to expand people's consciousness. If you would like a private reading, please comment below that you would like this and I will send you the information to link you up to a private reading with me. So we're gonna begin. We have three piles. Pile number one with the crystal quartz. Pile number two with the black obsidian. And pile number three with the rose quartz. Take a deep breath. Think of the person you would like to know about for the month of March. Focus on your pile and pick which one you're attracted to that you resonate with. And we'll begin. Okay, pile number one, those who choose the clear crystal quartz. This is your reading for tonight. I also have two oracle cards that I will do at the end of the reading as well. So we have your first card is the Seven of Swords in Reversed. Your second card is the Hermit. Card number three is the Nine of Wands in Reverse. Card number four is the Fool. Card number five is the Justice card. And card number six, your final card, is the Ace of Cups. So I read these in order. First two cards are past, second card, cards, the two in the middle. These are the present energies and the third which is the future of the last two cards. So it looks like in the past, that you have the seven of swords in reverse. So it looks like usually this card represents um, waiting for something, a plan that may fail in Tarot. And I see this woman, she's sitting down, she's got a beautiful peacock feather. And you see the couple behind her, they're very happy. They're snuggling and they're looking at her. And she's just got, has this kind of, um, kind of a snarky look on her face. <laughs> um, but she's thinking, she looks like she's thinking. Um, and in reverse, it looks like there may have been a third party situation. When I see this card, I see these two, a happy couple. This could represent you and a special person. And that could be the woman, or you could be this person. And when I say woman or man, I don't specify this could work for either gender or any gender. So please don't take the cards, woman, man, it's all about energy, and we all have masculine and feminine energy in our body, in our soul. So this woman here, anyway, back to the reading. <laughs> this woman here just has this look, and she's thinking like she's trying to devise a plan. Um, so it looks like that could have been something in the past. Because it's reversed, it's kind of fading away into the background, but it looks like it may have possibly been an issue with a third party situation. And then you get the second card of the Hermit. So your person is just thinking, they're thinking, they're up in their head, they're slow, they haven't decided on what they want. 
they're almost having an awakening, but they're probably, you, you, you're probably in separation. Or, <clears throat> excuse me. You were in the past, and it may have been because of this card, this potential third-party situation, or it may have been that they broke up with somebody, and you are the third party, or they broke up with somebody and they're trying to decide what to do. They're trying to awaken, make a decision. They're reflecting. And this was in the past. Remember, this is past energy. So now we go to the future and we have the nine of wands in reversed. So it looks like they're kind of preparing for something. They're trying to scare away the birds here. Scarecrow. He's tying it up. He's getting prepared. Presently. Holding his own. Trying to scare away things. Trying to protect. And in the reverse, again, there's another energy. Maybe it's kind of whoever this person is. They're loosening up. They're letting their guard down a little bit. Um, currently. And with the Fool card, which is coming up next, it looks like they're ready to take a leap of faith. So, presently, it looks like it's moving in a positive direction for you. We then, the, the two final cards we have for the future are the Justice card and the Ace of Cups, which is a really beautiful card. So, Justice, balancing the scales. Uh, it's time to play fair in the future. And it looks like there's an offer of love. There's a love card, the Ace of Cups. Fulfillment, wish fulfillment, love, happiness. And as, mat as a matter of timing, we can take the two of these cards. This is 11 and one. And I use these for future. So 11 and one is 12 one and two is three so it could be three hours three days three weeks that something's going to happen in this connection whether it be an offer made whether it be uh you know a love offer a date communication with this person if you've been out of contact um it looks like this is when you're becoming together so it's either going to be a form of communication, some balance. If you are in possibly a fight with this person, maybe you guys will, will make amends and, and then the love card follows the Ace of Cups. Three hours, three weeks, three days, people. Three hours, three days, three weeks. <laughs> it's Friday, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have for your Oracle card, the Rabbit Spirit. Now is a lucky time. And that's just absolutely wonderful to get. Uh, that's a good omen. It's very auspicious. And oh my God. Now we have, and I can't believe this, the engagement card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So we have this. <coughs> and this and this and this. And it just looks beautiful. So you get justice. Now is a lucky time. Ace of Cups. Your love life is a sign ascending to a higher level of commitment. So that looks like it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful energy in the future. And you might have had, well, you know, a little bit of a rough time. Um, if this is what you want with this person, that's wonderful. If this pile didn't resonate for you, please understand I'm reading from many, many people. And this is what I'm getting from this. So if you're like, oh, I never want to see this person again. Maybe you'll have a change of heart. Maybe this pile isn't right for you. But it looks very, very promising for the future. So let me get a love message here. So I'm shuffling these. Oof. These aren't easy to shuffle. And I've been meditating and writing them for the past couple of days here. Really thinking on it. Really getting ready to get in my power and open up and get
get this channel going. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. And I only want the best. So let's see what we got here. If I told you everything I love about you, I would never be able to finish. So whoever this person is, man, they just love you. They love you. Love you, love you, love you. And now we're gonna do the charms. have the cross card maybe religion religious this is a religious connection maybe something towards Easter is gonna happen in this connection I see bells and with this reading I'm gonna say maybe wedding bells and then I have a star you are this person's star that's obvious from the cards an angel so this is a divinely guided Divinely guided connection. You have an angel over your shoulder. Then we have the dog bone. So maybe there's a, you love animals or they love animals. A snowflake, a unique person, either they or you. We have the crown. So one of you is going to be treated. I'm going to say it's you. They're going to treat you like a king or a queen. Another cross card. So I'm going to say it might be the three weeks from now towards Easter. And this one is a black swan. So something else that's very unique. So this may be a very unique connection, but it looks very possible uh, that it's gonna go really, really well here with the wedding bells, the crown, the star, the angels. Around close to, closer to Easter, so I'm gonna stay probably three weeks. And it's probably going to be a very unique either there's a unique person there's uniqueness to this relationship and it's going to be like nothing else so i hope you like this reading if it resonated with you please comment below and have a wonderful friday good evening pile two if you chose the black obsidian stone this is your reading for this beautiful Friday night. So let's see what your person has to say. We have the Queen of Swords, the Sun. We have the Strength card in reverse. The Six of Cups. The Hierophant. And the Three of Pentacles. So, wow. Let's see. So in the past, which would be these first two cards, I see the Queen of Swords. This is a feminine energy, but this is a feminine that doesn't take any BS. She cuts straight to the chase. Um... This communicates very, very well. She's an excellent communicator. She's very watchful over everything in her life. She has dealt with pain before, but she uses her sword to cut through the pain and any difficulty in her life. And because of this, and because of honing her skill and being the queen of swords, She's able to communicate very well about what she wants, her desires in life, what she needs. So this person could be them, could be the Queen of Swords, but I feel Spirit's telling me that it, it's actually the, the person that's asking about the reading. So you know what you want. You've been very clear and communicative of what your needs are, what you'd like in this relationship, and you've been direct in some way. 
maybe you don't think you have been, but they have taken it. The, the person that you're asking about knows this. And then we have the sun. So this is, this is the happiness card. This is the end of the end card to the tarot. It's a happy life, a family. Everything is in balance. You're wonderful. So it sounds like you communicated your needs and things went well in the past, in the situation. There was love there. There was happiness, at least happiness. Maybe it's somebody new, but, you know, and you're not in love yet, but they are very happy with you. Very happy. And that's a good thing. Then we have the strength card in reverse. And you see he's taking the bull by the horns here. So presently, it looks like somebody in the situation, and I'm going to say it's your person, they really haven't quite taken the bull by the horns because it's in reverse. You want them to do this. You want them to do something here, make an offer, ask you on a date, commit to you. I'm seeing something like that and they haven't quite got there yet. And that's what, that's what I'm seeing from this card. And then we have the six of cups. It looks like happy memories, but you see that there's on this particular card, and I haven't really seen this in any other deck. I've seen a boat in the normal tarot with, with, the, with the cups. Well, maybe not a boat. I'm thinking of Six of Swords. It's usually children. It's children in the other deck, in the tarot deck. And there's six cups. And they look happy. In this particular card, what I'm seeing is a couple in the water hugging each other, embracing each other. And then this woman is looking on. So this could be memories, memories of a past lover, where they think that you have somebody. But they're looking back there. They may have happy memories about you. This might be them dreaming. Or there may be somebody else that they recently broke up with, and that is why they haven't taken the bull by the horns yet. But either way, they're reflecting and they're just trying to make a decision here. That's what I see. Kind of reflecting in the past with these two cards, the strength card in reverse. Quite you haven't quite gotten there yet to take that bull by the horns and turn it around. Reflecting. Memories. And then we have, for the future cards, we have the Hierophant. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So this looks like, in the future, there's gonna be some kind of commitment made, or maybe a recommitment if you've been broken up by from these people, but I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting the energy from spirit that this is either something that's new or it's a relationship where you might have been dating for a while, but, and they know what you want, they make you happy, but they haven't quite gotten to where you want the relationship to be. In the future, I do see this happening. Some kind of a commitment, if you see it's almost like this gentleman has taken an oath. He's begging for it, begging for a commitment. He's asking the heir in this card for something. But the three of pentacles is also generosity. It's working with people. You usually see um, a couple with a priest on the regular tarot cards for this one. So it's some kind of a commitment situation, whether it be, whether it be asking you out and dating this person and that offer, and it could lead to the path of commitment. I'm sorry about that. I tapped my camera. Or if you've been dating this person, some kind of a commitment or an offer is, is gonna come through. 
um, because they haven't taken the bull by the horns in the present, I'm not quite sure if it's going to affect you and that, that we have to look at the oracle cards. I have some special cards, some oracle cards, some messages from your person, and then we'll go from there to see what I really finally think on this one. Because it looks like there's going to be a commitment. But this card, even though it's not really not major, major, I'm not sure if it's going to be everything you want yet. So, and you are a person that, from what I'm getting in this reading, you are a person that wants what they want. And this, I, I think that's perfectly okay. Why get into a relationship where your needs aren't, needs aren't, ugh, I can't even talk tonight, sorry. <laughs> your needs aren't being met. Um, you want something, you get it, you know. Sometimes you gotta work on it and be gentle about it. But it looks like you've you've communicated what you've wanted in one way or another. So your oracle cards, the owl spirit, you can see clearly now. So maybe this, where I get this card, maybe this was you. That know, you know what you want, you've been happy but you haven't taken the bull by the horns yet and you're reflecting that this person's gonna make you an offer. See, they kind of all come together after a little while here. And then you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So here we are. So maybe you're gonna have a heart-to-heart, -heart, a sit-down and you'll clearly communicate your feelings and something, an agreement will be made, an offer, an agreement, something of the like. Just remember to ask for what you want. Ask for what you want. So let's see what we get from messages. These cards are very hard to shuffle, I apologize. I have to have them laminated. So what does spirit want to tell me about the final decision on this connection? What will happen in the month of March with this connection? Spirit, what will happen in the month of March with this connection? So let's see. Ooh, I got two. Here's one that from your person, I don't think I'll ever be good enough for you. But then we have this card. I want to make you an offer you cannot refuse. So maybe, here we are. So here, this strength card, that's why they haven't taken the bull by the horns. They don't know if they're ever going to be good enough for you. So they have to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you about this. And then make it, maybe that's when they'll make their offer. But they want to make you an offer that you cannot refuse. So see? That's what it is. So let's do your charm cast now. And as far as timing so far, we get the last two cards, is which I usually like to try to add up together. So... That's five and three. Five and three is eight. So eight hours, eight days. I'm not going to say eight weeks. Eight hours or eight days for this situation. So let's see. Whoops, I lost one. Okay, so what do we got here? We have the tree. Looks like the tree of life. The infinity symbol. So it looks like this is a possible soulmate connection with those two. Then we have the moon with the crown on it. So maybe they're going to treat you like a queen or a king under the moon outside. Maybe they'll take you out somewhere nice. We have an owl. So wise decision, knowledge. 
We have another moon with the fairy. So there's fairy guidance, leaves. Maybe you guys will have a talk outside. And some ballet slippers, maybe some dancing. I'm gonna pull a few more. I don't feel like I pulled them. Here, give me a couple more. Let me get more on this connection. Oh, so we have a tree outside. Black swan, something unique about the situation, maybe outdoors, maybe by a lake. We have two keys here. So it looks like a relationship and a bow. So maybe you'll have a bow and somebody will have a bow in the hair or you get dressed up. Or maybe it's a present. Or the offer will be a present. So let me know pile two. I hope this resonated with you. Please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Good evening, pile number three. We are gonna read your pile. You, you picked the rose quartz. And let's start your reading tonight. So we have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Devil, and the King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Wow. So, four of cups in reverse. See the woman, she's kind of dreary. She's looking out the window. She's thinking, contemplating. She doesn't see those cups that are full, that are right outside her window. She's sitting there with her cat. She's probably sitting there with her cat she had a bottle of wine, some ice cream, and some chocolate cookies. She's just saying, what am I gonna do with my life? Where is this person? Does he love me? She love me? Because it could be male or female. I have these cups out here, but I don't see them. She doesn't know that. She knows it inside, but she doesn't believe it. She's overthinking. But now that it's reversed, she's starting to get a little clearer. And the, with the Eight of Swords, it's kind of some more painful energy, but it's all along the same lines. Just in pain, not knowing how to move in a situation, not knowing what to do at all. So it could be the person that you're thinking of. It could be you overthinking. They don't know how to move. They've been in pain. Very painful, very painful card here. But they're coming out of the pain. It's, their fever is breaking. If you look, it looks like she's holding a fork, uh, cloth on her, his forehead. They have a fever. See, and there's somebody here that loves this person. So this could be you or your person, and this could be you or your person. But that painful energy, is they're starting to heal. It's slowly moving away. But in the present, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, Maybe this person doesn't feel like they have enough financial stability right now to take you out places or take you out on dates. You see the trunk of money, it's upside down. So it's like the money's falling out. There could be a financial issue. They don't feel like they have the resources, whether it be financial or just abundance in general to give you what you want. So presently, that's how they're feeling. And they wanna come and offer you their cup of love. 
the Knight of Cups. But they quite, haven't quite got there yet. And this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Water, I see, or Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So even at the present moment, they're not quite ready, or you're not quite ready. But I'm going to say it's your person. They don't have the financial resources, or they're not quite ready to make that offer of love yet. And here's why. The devil card. So with the devil card, they could just be lustful. This is a good red flag to look at. This is a future card. They want you. Maybe they party. Maybe they're a player. Maybe they spend their money that way. Maybe right now this is basically what they want in a relationship. They're undecided because maybe they don't feel good enough about themselves. Usually people that are in a player energy, 90% of the time, especially if they're younger, they don't feel good about themselves. So they have to play. They have to be the party person. They have to be the F boy or F girl, the friend with benefits, that type of person. They like to gamble or drink or party or dance or something. Like to spend their money or they just after sex, oversexed. And even in grown up people that are older, I've seen this, they just, they, they, they might have commitment phobia. But there's definitely some lust here. Definitely. So if that's what you want, pile three, and you want that, just pay attention to any red flags that they may give you. It's your decision. But I do see them being that way. And it's a little scary. Especially because they, it looks like they could almost love you. It looks like they want to love you. But they don't feel good enough. They don't feel like they have enough. So they're coming off as this player energy. And then we have the King of Swords in reverse. So they want to communicate with you. They're good communicators in the future. But here's the thing. They might be a little snarky about it. Or they might come off like this player. So be wary of that. If you're okay with that, then that's fine. But if it's not what you want... Just be careful and put them in their place. Let them know what you want. Let's look at your oracle cards. And as far as timing, 15. So one in five is six, six hours, six days. This is supposed to be for the month of March. Uh, six weeks could put you in towards Easter. It might be a little more. I'm gonna say six hours, six days. So maybe towards next weekend is what I'm getting from spirit, they might communicate with you or say something that, eh, you're not too thrilled about. They just kind of maybe blunt about it, where they just want you and they're aggressive. Let's look at your oracle cards to see, see if there's any advice for you here. We have the sandpiper spirit, be playful. So it says to be playful. So, you know, play, play ball if that's what you want. Because I do see the Knight of Cups here in reverse. So maybe if you're playful with them, that's how you hook them in because they have that player energy anyway. And then unrequited love is the Romance Angels card. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So here's the thing. Either they want you more than you want them right now, or you want them and they're not ready yet. I'm not saying it couldn't be a possibility in the future because we have the Knight of Cups card here, even if it's reverse. They, they do have some love or some feelings for you in your heart, but right now it might not be at the level to have this relationship. They might not have the money Let's get a message card from your love and then we'll do a charm cast to see. Because you never know. 
there's hope. I always say there's hope because I, I don't like to disappoint people, but I like to tell it how it is. Because when you're in love with somebody, and if you're getting a reading on this person, you obviously have some feelings for them most of the time. It's very hard to think like this. And I've been in a situation myself. So let's look and see what we get here. These are very hard to shuffle. Again, I apologize. I've apologized to all the other readings as well. It's just really difficult to shuffle here. So let's see what we get. Let's see. What does spirit want to tell pile number three people about this connection? Spirit, what does pile three need to find out about this connection? This card is turned this way. So we're going to get these. Because there's a warning card too, and I'm, I use my yellow for the warning cards and my pink is love. So let's get these two. The warning card says I'm not being truthful with you. So maybe they're not fessing up to their feelings and they're acting like a player. Or maybe they're faking their feelings for you. But something. And you got to find out what that is. It says to be playful. So, you know, maybe joke around about it. Maybe, maybe put it into a lighter context if that's possible for you. I don't know if I can. But that's me. That's my energy. It's like, you know, I try. But finesse is always a good thing. Kind of kind of like seduce them into what you want to find out from them is always good. You know, they're not being truthful with you. So if you kind of be playful with them and flirty, maybe you'll get the truth and what you want. And here we go. Here's this card. This is a really beautiful message, actually. I've never felt like this before with anyone in my entire life. So look at this, people, okay? Look at this. And this wasn't pre-shuffled. So they love you. They're crazy about you. But they're trying to come off like a player. So there we have it. So if you can get that out of them, good luck. But it says to be playful with them right now. So unless you don't want this, because with the unrequited love card, I'm confused about this. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. Maybe they're crazy about you and they're trying to be a player and you just don't know how you feel about them yet. It's a little confusing, the energy. But Mercury's still in retrograde, so who knows? And as far as timing, I think I said 15, one in five, six. Six hours, six days, possibly six weeks, but six hours, six days. Something. See your time. Okay, we got the fish hook. Somebody's hooked here. Somebody is hooked on somebody. We have the starfish in the seahorse. So maybe something to do with the ocean, possibly, or you are their star, or you go talk, or you live by the ocean. We have corn here. So maybe you'll go out to eat. There's a bell, possibly wedding bells in the future, maybe not the near future, but maybe later on. And then we have a pearl and a butterfly. Butterfly is, represents transformation and is a pearl. So this could be some kind of transformation in this relationship or it's very transformative with some pearls of wisdom. Maybe you'll learn from it. Maybe they'll learn from it. Another starfish, people. It looks like some flowers or a garden. Maybe you'll get some flowers from them. Let's see if we can get this one flipped over. Made with love. So there's a lot of love here. Maybe you'll get a pearl, some jewelry. Some feet, two feet. So maybe some bare feet in the sand. It's possible that there could be a baby involved, a pitter-patter of little feet. 
a leaf. Maybe in spring when the leaves come on the trees. And then you get the moon with the crown, some something mystical or magical on this connection, or it feels that way. So that's your reading pile number three. I hope this resonates with you. Please comment below. And again, if you'd like to have a private reading from me, please put it in the comments also below, and I will send you my contact information. Thank you very much. Namaste, have a wonderful evening and weekend.